Hey, let's do a square one more time. I know you. You want to do it the hard way. That's the easy, the other way. Three circles is the easy way. We're going to make a bunch of right angles, but make the sides all the same. Hmm. How to do that? Well, we've got to start with one right angle. So, start with the right angle. Draw a line somewhere, anywhere. And let's make a right angle. Find where those cross. That's how we get the right angle. Connect those those dots with a line. And that corner right there is the corner of our square. It is a right angle right there. So now, I could make a right angle over here. And then I could measure the same size sides. Or I could just measure all the same size sides. Hmm. What to do? Let's just measure all the same size sides. Because we've got our right angle. So that's a start, and that's the rectangle part. But now we need same size sides. And that is the roundest part. So again, I'm going to try this little idea. We're going to make something that big. We need the compass. Compass. And the compass is going to be that big. So put a circle there. So that gave us two sides. It gave us a side from F over to there, I. That's going to be whatever size GH is. And then from F up to J is the same size. What size is that by chance? Uh, 4.6. Okay. Oh, wait. GH. GH. Yep. 4.6. All right. So how do we find this other corner up here? Well, pretty simple. Put a circle right here. Yep. You got to get your compass again. Okay. Compass, G to H. Put it right there. All right, so it's up here somewhere. But we're up here. Oh, I need another circle. So we got to put one here. Man, I got to get that compass again. Whoa. That's not how big a compass I wanted. All right, let's try this again. Compass. G to H, right there. Compass. G to H, right there. Wow, it's a lot of circles, isn't it? Yes, it is. But you are an overachiever. Right there is your other corner. So, we made a perpendicular. Great. Then we had to make things the same size. And we just made them GH size. So we made it from F over to K, and then we tried to find L. Does that look like a square? Sure does. And they are all 4.6. Magical. With a 90. So rhombus and a rectangle, which makes it a rectangular rhombus. Otherwise known as a square. And again, the reason I did this GH thing is because I can change the size of everything by changing H. Or G. Always a square because we always have that 90 and we always have the sides all the same. The sides are all the same because I used a compass to make circles the same size. That's a long way to make a square. Some people find it fun. <laughs>